this is my all-time favorite silicone mold. Um, I use it for concrete, plaster, resin, epoxy. There's some things I've done with it. Um, I made half resin and half concrete that I keep little doodads in, in my bathroom. You can just use them plain too. Uh, I've put candles in them and also of course succulents. So I'm going to show you how to make this. It's, um, it's not cheap. It's like 30 some bucks or something. But if you think about how you can do an unlimited amount and what a great like gift this makes, like a housewarming gift, um, a uh, hostess gift, Christmas gift, like it, it's just endless. And you can paint these, they're super fun. So if you remember my other video on concrete, mix it up until it looks like half melted ice cream. I'm gonna put the link to the mold on Amazon and they're, they're sturdy. Like you gotta take care of them, but like nothing special, just don't leave them outside. And, but you know, silicone is like incredibly tough. So um, like if you treat it well, you can make a zillion of these. Okay, so we're getting this mixed up. Nice consistency, looks like that all the corners. This is a little bit thick. And I'm sorry, I don't, I just don't measure. It's, it's a fault of mine. Okay, put your guy here and you just blop the stuff in it. You have to shake it a little bit to get it down. So the investment here is basically just the mold, the Portland cement, really not expensive at all. Get all your stuff in there. You want it up to the brim. This one is designed to be a planter, so it's got a little nub in there that's going to make a hole in the bottom. If you're going to put um, wax in it for a candle, you probably want to cover that up somehow. Maybe just after you've pulled it out of the mold, put a little blob of concrete in there to seal it off. And then same thing, you want to get the you want to get all the bubbles out of it so you get a nice even finish. You can see that there's a few bubbles popping up there. We want those to come to the surface. And I'm going to take a little bit off the top because it looks a little tall. And then you kind of jiggle it. And the great news is like all this extra stuff comes off when it dries. And since I made a little bit too much, I've got another little mold here that I like. I'll link this one too. This makes a little tea light candle holder. It's a lot less expensive. I think this was like 10 bucks or something. Um, but it looks like a rock, which is cool. So same thing here. All summer I was letting these dry outside and I could actually do two batches a day, but right now it's just too humid. So if I leave these outside, I let them sit for at least 24 hours. If they're inside, you might be able to pull them a little bit sooner, but if you pull it too soon, it's just, it's gonna break. So you don't want that. Okay, jiggle, 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 jiggle. And you're just kind of beating those air bubbles to the surface just to give you the most even finish. And we set that aside and now we wait.